hello hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm in my bathroom because i wanted to film film a kind of like a catch-up video and um i was like once i'm done getting myself pulled together i will start my video but if i'm being completely honest with myself and you if i was to wait until i'm completely pulled together my daughter would be up and then my son will be coming home from school and my husband will be coming home from work and the evening chaos will be taking place so I figured I will do somewhat of a little bit of a get ready with me and like catch up type situation because it's probably been almost two months, probably like a month and a half actually, since I filmed a video um, and put it out to you. So I actually had kind of like a catch up video filmed. It wasn't really like a catch up. I was going to call it something different, but it was basically going to go over the same things I'm going to talk about a little bit with you today. And um, I was like going through my son's school supplies it was like a week before school started and so I was like kind of going through all these things with you but I was like I'll just put that out even though it's old and it'll just be whatever but a lot of the things I'm talking about is like it just wouldn't it just wouldn't be what I would want the video to be to be honest with you so I figured I would do a little bit of a catch-up and all that also I'm in my very small um ba my bathroom in like it's like a half bath it's very small so that's why I sound echoey I so apologize same for the lighting I actually have you like mounted in the corner of my vanity here and my light it's just like it's chaotic mess but hopefully we don't have too much of a hard time my daughter is in the living room kind of just hanging out I think I'm echoing a little bit less now that the door is a little more cracked so I'm kind of keeping an ear out for her and I'm trying to talk to you so all that being said. Um, I am not a beauty guru by any means, so don't judge me about all the things I'm going to be doing to get ready because honestly, um, I think the plan tonight is Oktoberfest is taking place in our area, um, which Oktoberfest is actually like something that takes, takes place in Germany, but um, we like our hometown area like the main street of our area always has like a big Oktoberfest um, festival and so we plan on going either tonight or tomorrow but I want to be ready in case we do decide to go tonight so that's where I'm coming from right now I just got done I was gonna do like the full get ready with me like my hair was wet I just got out of the shower type situation but I was like I'm you want to be able to hear me and I would just be sitting here blow drying my hair for like ever because I have super thick hair so, with all that being said, okay, anyway, I had to turn off Fancy Nancy for her. Um, so, with all that being said, I am wanting to kind of just film this to catch up because if I'm being honest with you, the last video that I was referring to, um, it was me kind of going through my son's school supplies and I was talking about my social media free summer. Um, and so, I really wanted to touch base on that because I'm still social media free. So whenever I say that, I say that lightly because I know a lot of people are probably thinking like, like later on when I explain, like it's not going to make a whole lot of sense, but just hear me out. So I decided to go social media free, um, at the beginning of the summer. So probably like middle of May, somewhere in there, um, because I wanted to kind of get closer to my kids and like, I had a lot of kids in my house this summer and all that fun stuff. I've talked a lot about that on the channel and I wanted to make sure that I was using my time wisely. So, um, I'm still continuing to do that. I'm sorry. I'm searching for the stuff that I'm looking for here. I'm still continuing to do that because I do feel like I really do enjoy it. I've been enjoying it. I've had like a really easy time with it. Um, it did take a little bit of an adjustment, but, um, I just know myself and I honestly, with me being at home again and not working and all of that, I just feel like if it's not broken, don't fix it. And at this moment, I don't feel like me not being on social media is like harming anything. There's no real need for me to, to like really be on it. Um, especially since I haven't really been so much on like YouTube as I would like to, which I will talk about in a little bit as well. But um, sorry, I'm like trying to do this I'm looking in the mirror but basically um 
So I am not really wanting to jump back into that. What I will say though, and what would probably, people will probably try to, I don't know, judge me or something maybe on this, is that I do still use Pinterest. Um, well, my door's gonna be open now. Wow, I look wild. Um, I do still use Pinterest because she's talking to, I, just don't touch it, okay? I have a base with lights in it and stuff for Halloween and she's talking to it because it's got pumpkins and stuff hanging out of it. Um, I do still use Pinterest just because um, I've been doing crafts with kids and you know all of that sort of a thing but that's um, the only form of like social media that I've been using um, and it's not really so much like social as it is just I have to move this because I know she's gonna end up touching it and breaking it as it is so much media <laughs> media so um you know do with that with what you will i love pinterest but um i stopped using it for a really long time and actually um i don't really know why i stopped using it if i'm being honest with you i think i just like didn't find myself drawn no no drawn to it as much so just like i just stopped getting on to it but i actually briar just had her second birthday so she's two years old now Sorry, y'all. Briar is now two. And we DIY'd all of her um, decorations for her birthday. So her birthday was Moana themed because she's a big Moana girly. And um, so we did everything Moana themed and she had a Moana themed cake and all this, which I will try to insert pictures while I'm talking about this. Um, I'll do my best. But, um, I DIY'd all of her birthday decorations and honestly I had a ball doing it. I love doing stuff like that. I love to do crafts and just generally just love doing stuff like that. And um, my cousin also helped me. She helped make like a Maui hook and um, just all kinds of fun stuff. And it was a huge success. It was only, it was her second birthday. So we didn't have like a bunch of like friends and all that kind of stuff. We just had family, but our family is quite large, specifically my husband's side of the family. He is a family. Um, he is one of three kids and each of his siblings also have three kids. So we have two, um, but his two siblings have three each. So all together, there's eight grandkids on his side of the family including our kids if that any of that made sense and um so when they're all here which of course they were all invited and all came um it it was just it was plenty but um it was just really fun we ended up making I don't know if I have any pictures of the cake pops which I wish I did but I made heart of tafiti cake pops which was like such a party like hit um because we got a cake which we are Costco people. I think I've talked about that in the past. We only ever do Costco stuff. Um, this year we wanted to do a Moana cake. So with the Moana cake, they don't do like themed cakes like that. Typically they just do like their usual cakes. And then, um, you know, they have a set of decorations that they will do or whatever, which I guess we could have ordered a cake and like, bought our own cake topper I don't know whatever these are the things I didn't think about because I was pretty set on having an actual Moana cake and it worked out just fine but with that I knew we were going to need some extra cake type things so I made heart of defeaty cake pops um and that was just a ball everybody loved those and actually a lot of people just ate that rather than the actual cake which was fine and the cake the reason I made that, I don't know if I actually ended up saying, was because the cake was to set, was set to, I think, serve like 20 people. Um, and we knew we had more than 20 people coming. So I wanted to make cake pops also in case people would prefer the cake pops. And a lot of them did. So it worked out great. But um, we ended up making, um, I almost said Taka, um, Tamatoa as a um he was like the tray that held her cake pops and that worked out really well and then um we just had like little things it was never anything big I made um I made what are they called kakamoras and I put them on our wall 
and just like fun things. It was really fun. We had a great time making them and then it looked really great whenever it was all decorated and then of course we brought like Moana plates and napkins and you know all the things but it was really cute so that was great she is officially two years old and she is every bit of two years old she talks like crazy and she gets into everything like she is right this minute <laughs> um but she's just so much fun and it's really crazy to me that our littlest baby is now two and we no longer have a baby baby. Why? We have a toddler. No, no. Which it's felt like she's been a toddler for a while. So I say that lightly. Um, I hop on Instagram like every so often just to make sure that I don't have any kind of like wild messages and people like business inquiries, that kind of thing, which I usually have my email linked below for anybody that would have like any kind of like business style things that they would want to go over so um but I just like to check it every so often so I will do that I actually just did that the other day um but like I said I really don't do it all that often um so yeah so that's been how that is it's going great um I kind of just taken some time from generally everything as you probably can tell because like I said I haven't been on YouTube and like I haven't posted any videos in like a month um and that's like pretty unintentional but like I had said in the video that I was going to post um school had just started up which now we're about we're going on six weeks in and um it's always just kind of hard in the very beginning getting used to like the schedule and we've got extracurricular activities that my son is a part of and there's just stuff that you know like we just have to like it just takes me some time to get get into the swing of things and I think that that's fairly normal so that is kind of where I've been as far as that goes um and like I said my YouTube channel is solely a hobby right now as much as I would love to make it a career um, and eventually like that would be the plan. I just can't call it more than just a hobby at this moment because it just, it just has to, sometimes things have to get put to the wayside. You know what I mean? And that's just one of those things where at this moment, I just have to allow it to go to the wayside at times, but eventually my plan will be for it to be something more than that. So that is kind of that. Sorry about me kind of doing what I'm doing here. Um, also, what's new with Henry? Um, he's had quite a bit of events happen um, with school. He's already had one full fundraiser come and go, which is just crazy to me in six weeks of school and all of that. Um, and we're taking a break from soccer at this moment, just because, like I said, us getting used to, like, something I've talked about too very lightly is that, uh, my Mama. husband and I are both yeah. ADD parents, and so, ADHD, yeah. whatever you want to call it, no thank you. So whenever we have, like, big changes, like school, back in session, and things like that, like, we have to allow ourselves time to like adjust to the way that our household functions and like the new things going on in our lives because otherwise I feel like it would just be really hard. <laughs> Maybe that's just us, but it, whatever works for us, you know what I mean? So that's, that's that. Um, what else is new? Briar's turned to um, my cousin and I are currently in the midst of, she's the same cousin that was actually helping me. Hey, Miss Ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She's the same cousin that actually helped me with Briar's birthday party. She and I are in the middle of trying to plan a garage sale, which actually was supposed to take place tomorrow. At this moment of me filming this, it was supposed to take place tomorrow, which would be Saturday but it's supposed to rain and it's actually raining right now. It's, we've just been getting a ton of rain with all of the weather on 
I guess both coasts. I'm not really sure. I try, I don't really keep up with that type of stuff all too much. Um, but we've been in the midst of doing that. So I've actually been like really going through our house like every single day and just collecting things that we don't use anymore or, you know, just whatever. Sorry, I'm bending down into my makeup bag. This is my all-time favorite lipstick. Oh my gosh, Broadway. It's my favorite lipstick. I use it for everything, which you'll see in just a minute. It is this Super Stay, oops, sorry, by Maybelline in the shade Reach High. Let me see if I can show you. It's all backwards, I apologize. Honestly, toddlerhood at this moment. She just about pulled down a bunch of glass stuff, like perfumes and just like all kinds of stuff, along with my tripod. Um, she just brought this in and I wanted to show you. She got this from my cousin for her birthday. It's by Simply Modern. I don't know if you're able to. There you go. So darling. I think she just ordered it off of Amazon, but I was just like, I want one myself. It's so cute. And Briar, I try to get her to use this when she's awake um, because we still like kind of use a bottle at this moment. We're trying to get out of that, at least out of doing it all day long. It, you know, all that kind of a thing. Parenthood, you know? So anyways, this is my favorite lipstick. I think it matches my tone like a lot. I'll put it on a little bit so that I can show you. But I just love it. Like I said, I'm not a beauty person. I like almost never wear any lipstick or I never wear hardly any makeup anymore. I don't know, it looks more dull on me now. It doesn't it doesn't look as pretty as it once did. Um, I use it on my cheeks though. Because Briar loves makeup. If you can't tell, she's been in here getting into everything. Um, she loves it. And I'm gonna blend this in, don't worry, but I'm just blending it there. It looks literally psychotic right now. Um but she uh, was getting into my makeup one day recently and got into my blush and chucked it at the floor when I tried to take it from her um, because she was getting into all of it and it just shattered all over the ground. <laughs> so um, I haven't gotten any more new blush because I can't re remember what the tone was called. It was by e.l.f. And it was kind of like a brick red color because that's kind of what I more lean towards for whatever reason. This probably looks crazy, but this is just what I've grown to do as far as getting myself ready goes because mom life, I guess. Oh, anyways, so where was I? What was I talking about? Social media free. I'm loving it. I'm going to move on from that subject because I can't remember if I wrapped that up or not. Um, you know what's crazy is I'm actually not loving this color on me right now. <laughs> Looks psychotic. Why? Oh my gosh. Well, for one, it's all over my lip line because I've been rubbing on it now. Um, hmm. What else is going on? Um, oh, I was talking about the garage sale. And let's see. What else? I feel like there's other things I wanted to talk about and I can't remember what it is now. I need to find my sponge briar. Took off with it.
Um, so as far as getting back into the swing of things, that's something I definitely wanted to talk about. Um, I would really like to get back into the swing of making videos. I had right before I kind of like took this like unexpected hiatus because school was starting. I have a whole list of things that I'm planning on making like posting or what am I saying? Like videos I'm planning on making. Um, I just haven't yet because like I said, So, um, that's kind of that. Um, I also thought it would be kind of fun. I used to on one of my platforms of social media, talk about how I was a holiday traditionalist and I stand by that. I love the holidays. It is like some of my favorite times of the year even though I love summer and being outside and all that good stuff, we do like, we have so many traditions. Like my husband and I talk about it almost every single year because he, when he, him and I got married, obviously like I had holiday traditions and he was kind of in on those before we got married. Um, but ever since we got married, he was like, I never used to like the holidays as much as I like them now because yeah. we yeah. just have so many traditions now. And, um, I just love it. I love the holidays. I love having traditions. It helps keep them, keep that time of the year fun and fresh and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I figured it might be kind of fun this year to do a video on all of our holiday traditions and like all that kind of stuff because it's just a great time. Yeah, it's your drink. Here you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, so I thought it might be kind of fun to film those this year just because I've never done that before like really film every single tradition I don't know that sounds like excessive but I just thought it'd be kind of fun because I love holiday traditions and I love seeing what other people do for their holiday traditions um, I just think that's really great especially when they're a little bit un unconventional unconventional I don't know I just think that kind of stuff's fun um, one I don't know if it's unconventional or not, but one holiday tradition that we always do that, I don't know, probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I know a lot of people do like cookies for Christmas, but my cousin and I do a cookie day in the fall and we basically make sugar cookies and royal icing and we decorate the cookies, just all kinds of like holiday themes and things like that and it's just a ball and then we have them you know for the rest of the season I say but really it's just like it's really not to like it's not really so much about eating the cookies as it is it's just like the fun of like listening to Halloween music and like just doing something fun and being somewhat creative and stuff like that and the kids have a ball with it um I say the kids had a ball but Briar was little the last few years of doing it obviously like she was like a newborn basically and then she was a year old and so she just kind of hung out and um my grandpa kind of hangs out with the kids like with my husband and the kids and they just kind of like hang out and just socialize and stuff all us girls my husband also decorates cookies so i'm not trying to downplay it like that because he for sure does and we have just a great time. It's just super fun. Super lighthearted and fun. Um, one, I was going to say one tradition that's just like a given. Everybody does this is decorate the house, which I've already done. Oh. I've decorated for fall already, I should say. But I guess like the tradition for that is for me, I always do it whenever like Henry's at school or like whenever he would go to his grandparents, I would hurry up and like decorate or he would help me. In the past years, most of the time he like kind of helped me, um, but since he started school and like preschool and stuff like that, I will decorate while everybody's down for like a nap, when Briar's down for a nap and he's at school and just whatever. So whenever he comes home, it's like the big presentation of what the house looks like now and I just love it. I think it's 
fun. I think it's such a great, it's just fun. Because Henry's always like been my kid that just notices everything. And I'm not kidding when I say he notices everything. Um, when I have like, whenever I get like a new piece of decor and hang it somewhere, he will notice it within like the first like five minutes of being in the room. And it's no joke. So he always just loves doing that. <laughs> Um, like he loves to come home and it's all decorated and stuff like that. So that is one that I've kind of already done. Like I said, I told myself this year that I was going to wait to decorate for fall until, um, until after Briar's birthday and I just can never get myself to do it. <laughs> I always like decorate and then I will move the decorations to decorate for her birthday and then once I take the decorations down, I will move it all back. Which is extra work for myself, but it is what it is. So, that is that. I thought that would be kind of fun. I haven't done anything like that. And um, I think we have some extra holiday stuff, which I guess like tonight would be a holiday tradition because it's not like a holiday tradition, but it's Oktoberfest. And that's something that we do every single year, at least my husband and I. So, I don't know, we'll see, maybe I'll film that. It'd be kind of fun. Oh my goodness. So for a while I was going and getting my eyelashes dyed and um, I stopped doing that because every time I would go, I very, when I would come back and like check them out at home, they never seemed to like really be that much more like colored. And I've had them done once before um, from a different lady, like the lady that I keep going to at this one location keep, is like they keep giving me to her and she never, like I actually even looked it up. The first time that I ever got it done was like years and years ago. I think it was probably like 2014, 2015, something like that. And um, I went to this place and they put the dye on and left it for like 10 minutes. And this girl leaves it on for like maybe two minutes. And both times that I've had her do it, like the first time, it was like, I could kind of tell, but it wasn't as dark as like it probably should have been since I literally got them dyed, you know? Um, and so I like called and I was like, it just doesn't seem as dark as I feel like it should be. And they're like, gave me all these reasons why maybe that was the case, like why it wouldn't have been as dark. And then I, they, I was like, I just wanted to see if I could just get it redone. I'm like, yeah, like you can come in and get it redone, whatever. And it was the same way. Like she just left it on for like maybe two minutes. And I even looked it up, like what the standard time was to leave eyelash dye on. And it's like 10 minutes and she won't do it. She won't leave it on for that long. So I was like, I'm just going to order it myself and do it myself. And it has been okay. Um, I want to, I don't know. I was going to say, I want to just for men my eyelashes, but I'm also kind of afraid of putting that so close to my eyes. But I ordered eyelash dye and maybe I just haven't gotten the ratios correct for it because it just doesn't seem to like really take as well as I would hope. So sorry if, you, if this is like a weird view. I'm just trying to put my mascara on and I'm like, have to get super close to the mirror in order to do it. So anyways, my point of saying that is I've still been doing that, but I've been doing it myself and I still enjoy it. I actually even bought a eyelash perming kit, if you know what I'm talking about, to where like you put it on and it's supposed to like curl. I, I say it like you put it on and it magically curls your eyelashes, but like you perm them basically. And I used it and I liked it, but over time, like one of my, there's like a spot of eyelashes where they like started going downward and I couldn't correct them. And I ended up accidentally like pulling out all of those eyelashes in that spot. So I have like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I have like a spot right there in my eyelashes that they're like growing in now because I pulled them all out on accident. So you're probably gonna be able to see it with mascara on, but can't just not wear mascara. 
So yeah, I felt like I had a lot more to say, but I'm doing this like on the fly, if you aren't able to tell. I didn't really like sit down and brainstorm like all the things that's been going on recently. So you can probably tell. But um, I wanted to kind of get on and let you know what's been going on and explain all that. Oh, something else I wanted to talk about is that I and my husband were talking about how long it was that I was watching kiddos in our home. And it was about eight months. So I started watching the kids in our home January 3rd of this year. And I stopped watching them the middle of August. So almost eight months, which is a long, long time. Um, especially with having five of them. So I only had five of them for about three months, but still, um, it's a lot of kids in a tiny little condo, which our condo is actually decently sized, but um, it's still just a lot of kids. <laughs> a lot of kids, especially of all the varying ages that I had. And I loved that time. Like, I really did love, love, love that time. I felt like it was so much fun. And I like having a full home. Um, but I was so, like, worn out after having that many kids running through my house every single day. That by the time it was... Yeah. Thank you. By the time they had gone Mommy. home and like our everyday like family life had taken Mommy. place like dinner and like extracurricular activities because my son was in soccer and he was in t-ball. By the time both of those were like all of that was done, I was so worn out that I was pretty much just like putting things away like just to get it out of the way rather than putting it where it actually needed to be. So um, for the past few months, so since the end of August... And all month of September, which today is De is September, I almost said December, it's September 27th today. And so all this time, like I said, now I'm planning a garage sale because I've been really going through all the unseen places, which actually all my recent videos have kind of been about that and like me going through all these different areas and like clearing them out and, you know, just like refreshing our home because it was in serious need of some refreshment. Um, like, and when I say refreshment, I mean like complete reorganization. Hey, no thank you. It's not yours. Um, and so, she's getting into everything right now. No thank you. And so basically that has what has like been fueling me and I've actually like taken to that really well. It's been like really nice. I feel so refreshed when our house is like thoroughly like organized and straightened up and like I'm able to light candles and like everything's just like tidy and I'm able to like really relax um, because like for almost eight months, I wasn't able to be that way. As hard as I tried to get myself motivated when I had the free time to actually like do those things, I just couldn't, like we were just busy. We just had things going on. So with me being back at home full time, I've really been able to go through our house and like do all of those things. And it feels just so good. It really does. It feels amazing. So now that I've done all that, like I said, we are now preparing for a massive garage sale, which is going to be like consisting of like three different families, which is going to be like such a great time on top of the fact that now that my babies are no longer babies, we're really going through the things that we needed for them as babies. So that being said, I'm getting rid of a pack and play at this garage sale. I'm getting rid of a double stroller that we actually specifically bought for a Disney World trip that ended up getting canceled. And um, by the time that we go next year or whenever we end up going next, I think my son will, it, for one, he won't fit in the double stroller that we bought, although it is one that he can like sit in without it being like a seat. Um, but we wanted one, if we were going to have one, we wanted one that he could like rest and like take a little bit of a nap because on our last trip earlier this year in March and April, he, we put him in the stroller while we were at Disney Springs and we had like a second stroller. So me and my husband were both pushing two step at strollers and he fell asleep and Briar was like wide awake in her, like this little umbrella stroller. 
So my point of saying that is with the stroller that we bought, it's like two that, um, it's kind of like the upper baby Vista style, but like the back one can pull off. And then there's like a toddler seat where they can sit and like hold on and, um, like stand and like things like that. So it's kind of like that, but he's so stinking tall and long that by the time that we like end up going, he's going to be just like too tall for either one of those things. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that because we got it for super cheap anyway. So I'm not really worried about it. Um, and what else are we getting rid of? We're just getting rid of, rid of like all that kind of stuff, but it's like all stuff that's been like cluttering up all of our storage spaces in our home on top of the fact that we do plan on moving before too terribly long. So getting all that extra like stuff out now before we're actually like trying to pack up and like get rid of extra stuff and just whatever. Um, it's just really nice. It's really nice. So that has been a big thing. I've also really taken back like cooking and like baking. Those are two things that like really, especially baking, like baking really just like makes me feel so like relaxed and like I enjoy it and like, I just really love it. I love it. I love to bake. I think it's super fun. And I like to cook too. I think it's great. So I've really taken back those things too. So I'm probably going to be coming out with like more videos like based around that kind of a thing because like I just love those. I love that. I love watching those. That's what I do on Pinterest most of the time is watch baking videos or like dinner making videos or just like whatever. Um, and I just love it. I love that kind of stuff. So I'm probably going to be sharing a lot of stuff based around that as well. Um, not to mention I have two or three Disney cookbooks that I need to go through. Disney parks related. So yeah. And I have a Disney villains cookbook that I haven't made anything out of yet. And Halloween is on, on its way. So interesting. So anyway, um, that's a little bit of that. I'm trying to think of anything else that has popped up that I could share. Okay, some time has passed and little one is up for a nap and I have a little bit of extra time. Hopefully I can think more clearly and more concise than I was earlier because I haven't edited it yet, but I know that the first half of this video was a literal hot mess. So if you're still here and watching this, I praise you. Thank you. So um, a few more things that I was thinking about that I really wanted to hit on a little bit here is that Briar is now two years old, which I know it's backwards, but I made this too. I know. Um, and she is every bit of girly, um, but you can also tell she has a big brother. And what I mean by that is, um, she is, she has started with being obsessed with Elsa and the Frozen movie, um, specifically the first one. I was going to say the Frozen movies, um, but she's really taken to the first one first. And then she's been into Moana and she really likes Belle. She really likes Cinderella. She really likes Ariel. Um, now she's starting to get back in to Frozen 2 because she started watching that more recently um, but she's also really into The Little Mermaid which is just like it's just a dream it's a dream um, it's all the things I wanted and looked forward to having a girl for is just the princess obsession obsessions and just like just all of it I, I was like that as a kid I loved all the princess movies I was a big Disney girl specifically with the princesses and just like all that stuff I just love that I love that kind of stuff so she's really into all of those things and it's just been so much fun so much fun um it's been a ball and so it's just really fun to see her and she talks so fluently y'all I took her to her two-year checkup yesterday and her doctors were like I can't believe she's only two like she talks so much and I'm like I know Henry was the exact same way <laughs> and I always tell him I'm like it's a blessing and a curse because they both like talk so much so well they pick up on everything so like there's not much that you can get away with around them you know they they like they know what you're saying and they repeat it and just like all that kind of stuff um but all in all it's a blessing it truly is a blessing it's so much fun 
one more thing um that i wanted to also talk about real quick if you had seen my video i think it was oh man i can't remember it's one of my more recent like weekly vlogs i started that video talking about all the things that i'm kind of trying to touch back on now um and one of those things was getting it back into the bible and like really creating a bible study for myself and like all those things well with that being said my cousin went to a big store that me and my husband go to is half price books um because we just we are trying to get back into reading and i wanted to get i'll talk about that in a second i was wanting to get into like a hobby um i think that hobby is now turned to reading and my bible study and all that stuff well anyways we were telling all of our family like yeah like go to half price books like it's great um, and I had also been telling my cousin about how I really wanted a one-year Bible that had the margins area open for like notes and just things like that. Like I wanted to really get into them. I wanted a Bible that had room for me to write in the margins. Like I just really wanted all that kind of stuff. And she went to Half Price Books and she found this completely unused, which is another great thing about Half Price Books. If you have one in your area and you are any sort of bit into books or really anything like crafts, Legos even, they they have all of that kind of stuff like hand-me-down almost style, um, but they're all in really good shape. So if you're interested in any of that, I, I highly recommend. Not sponsored, just saying. Um, but she found this and it is the one year Bible and it says expressions. And I was like, what does expressions even mean? But it is a Bible that has like margins and I have just loved that. And it's a one-year Bible. Obviously, you can tell I've been into it. Um, but I've just been loving this. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to sit here and try to act like I have been doing this for a long time because I truly haven't. She gave this to me probably at the beginning of this month, which is September. Um, and I just started getting into it within the last few days. So I've only been doing it for about two. I think today was my third day of doing it. And I'm loving it. I look forward to it every single day. Um, having it in these sections of like daily reads, which I've never actually looked into a one year Bible and how they're set up and all that kind of thing. But I do really like this one because it's even down to the day, um, which like I said, I've never really looked into one. I just knew that I always wanted to try it. So um, let me show you. So this was the other day, it says September 25th and it has like all and then it's labeled just by each day so it's really easy to stay on top of like how much you need to read in one day for an entire year and by the time that you're done with it you will have read the entire bible and i just think that it's really neat so i have been really working on that and um I just have been loving it. That's been a big thing for me recently is going through this. And um, like I said, I really look forward to it. And what I've been really trying to do, which I've always kind of tried to do this in one way or another, but I really try to romanticize my life at home. So if you are somebody else who's also a stay at home, work from home, whatever, I find that it's really, um, it's really influential about like to stay at home. Like when... <sighs> I'm, I'm tripping over my words here, trying to get my point across, but I can't think of the words. When you're at home, it's really easy to fall into the mundane, like, wake up, what do I do with myself? Like, how do I get myself motivated? But I feel like it's really easy to get into a rhythm when you romanticize that rhythm. So what I have started doing is I have an A-L-E-X-A, and I will ask her to put on piano jazz music. And um, it'll just play in the background, which I have it off right now because I don't want any kind of like copyright is issues. But I turn that on and I like do the dishes or just do whatever my chores are oops, around the house. And I have just been loving that. Like that alone just makes me feel like I've got music going. I typically, I used to just turn on the TV. I turn on like a YouTube video or just like whatever. And it just doesn't feel like I get burnt down on that. I don't like to just like constantly hear talking and things like that. And then sometimes whenever they're talking about something or like you're watching something, it's like you need to see it. And then you're like stopping what you're doing to go and watch whatever it is that's on TV. Just having some like light jazz or whatever kind of music that you like. I 
pull towards jazz because I just really enjoy it and I feel like it's very calming and relaxing and it's raining outside right now and it kind of romanticizes the rainy gloomy weather I just love it I just think that it's so much fun um so that's just been a big thing for me too and like I said like getting into the baking it's like have a candle lit and you know fold your laundry and drink some coffee and just like whatever it's been so great I just love that um, so I'm just really trying to keep that fresh for me because I've been a stay-at-home mom for about seven years now and I have gotten burnt out on it time and time again. And so that's something that I'm really trying to work through is making sure that I'm doing the things that keeps me like, I don't know, I was going to say the word like enthusiastic about doing these things thing is is that I'm not doing anything different than everybody else is doing the thing is is that like I'm just dedicated my that that's just what I'm doing is dedicating my life to it. like somebody who works has to do that on the weekends and stuff like that so like I don't know do you know what I'm saying sometimes I feel like I'm so busy with the stuff that I'm doing at home that I'm like how does anybody get this kind of stuff done while they're working too like I commend those women truly I do because it's it's hard <laughs> it's hard sometimes you're just like feel like you're drowning in it and you're just like and then other times you're like what am I doing with my life I'm just sitting here on the couch all day <laughs> I'm just trying to be realistic so anyways I'm trying to make sure that I touch base on everything recently I don't know mm. I don't think I'm talking about anything less than what I had planned on talking about. Like I said, it's been kind of a hot mess on the spot video, but I wanted to get out there again and just start creating because it's time. I'm ready. It needs to happen. Birds are chirping. <laughs> so anyways, um, I think tonight, depending on how tonight goes, if it's not tonight, it'll be tomorrow. We're going to be going to Oktoberfest. So I really would like to share that experience and just what that looks like down there because it's such a fun time. It really is. It's a lot of drinking and a lot of craziness because it's like beer fest if you've ever seen that movie, which is highly inappropriate. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of like, it's based off of basically the same thing. The beer fest is based off of Oktoberfest in Germany and Oktoberfest here is based off of the one in Germany. So if you know what I'm saying. So anyway, um, if I do plan on doing that, I will definitely film that and kind of show you what it's like down there. Hopefully it won't be too crazy and I'm able to actually show it because you just never know what you're going to get down there. Um, but I do want to, I, I think I'm really going to dedicate myself to that and like, which we have like, we try to make things as we go so that the days don't seem so long and dreary and all that kind of stuff. But obviously we go to like pumpkin patches and like I said, we do a cookie day Oktoberfest. Um, we have a couple bonfires where we like make an event out of it and it's really fun. This year we have one planned um, to have a bonfire and it's going to be like a Halloween party style bonfire where it's going to mostly be outside and there's going to be a bonfire obviously and there's going to be lots of food. I'm going to make a s'mores charcuterie board which is going to be super fun um and like we're going to be making like hot dogs over the fire and s'mores obviously and um, like I said, everybody's going to dress up and I'm going to, I think we're going to try to make like a couple of like activities or like games so that people can be like mingling outside and not just like trying to all huddle around a little bonfire, if you know what I mean. Um, something that I used to have as like a tradition whenever I was like younger. So like with my nuclear family, with my mom had a friend who their whole family would do a wing ding, which is something I've never heard anybody else talk about. Um, and it was just so much fun. Like basically they supplied like six different types of wings. And then whenever you come to the party, you bring a version of your wings. So whether or not you make them or you buy them, you just bring them and then everybody can snack on these chicken wings. And like, you know, there's beer and just whatever. It's like, just kind of like, I don't know, might be a little hooge or whatever, but um, it's just super fun. I just think that it's super fun. I love like having the excuse to mingle and be outside and when it's cool and you need like a sweatshirt and it's just like cozy and there's a fire and the kids are playing on like the swing set outside or whatever and it's just fun. It's just like a really fun time. So, but nobody in our family ever does it and I kind of like, I want to like recommend somebody to do it, but honestly, if I'm being like completely frank, I want to keep that as my own little thing 
whenever we have our house and we can host the wing day in our backyard because I just think that it'll be super fun. <sighs> so anyways, I'm just like jabbering, but all things that I wanted to get out there and say, thank you for being here. Like I said, I know this is a little bit of a more chaotic video. I am going to try to be a little bit more honed in on my next few videos, hopefully. Um, but I kind of just like on a whim this morning was like, I need to make a video and just do like a let's catch up that kind of a thing. So here we are. No nuts were made. I just came on and started talking. So anyways, thanks for being here, you guys. And I hope you weren't bored <laughs> and I hope they were, you weren't annoyed. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.